Hi everyone, today I'm giving a short demo of my TechScript Studio application. This project aims to make it easier for InfluxDB users to write and debug capacitor scripts which would be used for monitoring and alerting. If you don't already know, TechScript is a DSL or domain specific language for processing time series data. Capacitor requires tick scripts in order to be useful, but it doesn't come with any user-friendly tools for developing and testing them. That's what motivated me on this project. If you want to run TickScript Studio yourself, the only thing you'll need is the Docker Compose file, which is available in the source repository or in the Docker Hub page for TickScript Studio. And these InfluxDB settings are the only things that you'll have to change in this file to run it yourself. You just have to point it to your InfluxDB, wherever that may be. Here I am in my text editor in the Docker Compose file, and I'd like to set up a local instance of TechScript Studio. I don't have an InfluxDB accessible via the public internet, so I'm going to add one to this Compose file for the demo. Okay, I've added the InfluxDB YAML. Now all I have to do is change the host name that TechScript Studio will look for. Looks good. Now let's try running this. All we have to do is type docker compose up. Now let's try connecting to TechScript Studio. It exposes itself on port 8081 by default and I have a hosts file entry called docker.local pointing to my docker machine so I can access it at that port on that host name. It looks like it's up and running. I can see the change log and the diagram. If I go over to the data sampler tab it'll show that InfluxDB, the one that we just created, is working but there's nothing here yet besides the internal database. Let's try writing some sample data to InfluxDB should be available at port 8083. First I'll create a database called test. Select that database and then write data to it. I'll also write one point where there's five errors and a few more zeros. If we return to TechScript Studio and refresh the page, we should see our new database that we created. And if we click on that, we should see the measurement that we created as well. Clicking on the measurement will select a few rows, display them, and then save them as a sample. And if you wish, you can filter this sample with an additional query. But let's go ahead and advance to the TechScript Tester tab. It'll ask me for a username and now I can see my sample that I've created. Let's try entering a simple script. Well, it looks like it didn't work. Seems I have a syntax error. I'm calling from with too many input arguments. Of course, I did this wrong on purpose just to demonstrate how syntax errors will be shown immediately to the user. If you really wanted to do this, you would use a property called measurement. Now we can see that the script compiled and ran, and it processed 72 points from our input data set. However, it doesn't do anything with them. If I use the influxdb out node, it should pipe the output directly back to InfluxDB. And as we see here, we have 72 points written, and the web page will display all the output that was written. Now if we want, we could change this data somehow.
And it looks like we have a lot of error messages in the capacitor log. This is another great feature of TechScript Studio. It shows you some errors that might be hidden otherwise when you're testing TechScripts. My mistake was I typed in errors as the field name. But errors is the measurement name. The field is called count. Well, looks like we blew it again. Trying to add a float to an int. Okay, it looks like it worked this time. We have our errors plus one measurement with a bunch of ones. I could also use this data to generate an alert. This is an extremely simple alert. It doesn't really give us any detail about what happened at all. But we can see that since one of those data points was equal to 6 and the others were all 1, it entered a critical state once when it encountered the data point that was 6, but otherwise it was in the OK state when the data points were 1. And if I wanted to edit the input data, all I have to do is click on input from sample and then click on edit sample. And I can go in here and put whatever values I want. Now we see that there's multiple alerts because the state changed multiple times. Anyway, that about wraps up this demo. It's very simple. I just wanted to show how the TechScript Studio works. There's all kinds of great detailed information on how to write tick scripts available on the tick script documentation. And if you want any of the text snippets that I've used in this video, I'll paste those in the video description below. Anyway, I hope that you find this tool to be useful.